Former Governor Rod Blagojevich was thrown out of office last night by a unanimous vote in the state Senate. CBS News correspondent Cynthia Bowers reports. All right. Last night outside his Chicago home, the former governor held court for the first time as Citizen Rod. I'm going to keep fighting to clear my name. I'm disappointed in the state Senate's actions. This after a desperate last stand in Springfield where Blagojevich finally faced his accusers. How can you throw a gov governor out of office with insufficient and incomplete evidence? He pleaded innocent to all of the impeachment counts, including the charge he tried to sell Barack Obama's Senate seat. But senators were unmoved by what they saw as last minute grandstanding. You don't know whether to get angry or cry. In short order, they not only stripped the governor of his title, they banned him from ever holding state office again, which is just fine with scandal-fatigued citizens. Just in the circus. This likely won't be the last we hear of Rod Blagojevich. His criminal trial is still sometime in the future, and in the meantime, he vows he will continue the fight to clear his name. Cynthia Bowers, CBS News, Chicago. Joining us now from Chicago, Illinois Attorney General Lisa Madigan. Good morning to you. Good morning, Maggie. We, we know that uh, Governor Blagojevich has been ousted. He can never again hold political office in Illinois. Do you think this is a good day for your state? I think this is a new beginning for our state and one that is absolutely necessary in the after the very destructive uh, you know, tenure of the governor. And so it is actually a good day, certainly difficult times ahead and challenges, but we are going to uh, move forward. One of the, the senators said yesterday after Governor Blagojevich's closing argument that he proved once again that he is an unusually good liar. Do you agree with that? Well, you know, I think what's been very disappointing and very frustrating to everybody involved in the process and the citizens of the state is that the governor uh, could have brought forward information and evidence and witnesses, and he refused at every turn to do so. So he didn't participate when the House was considering impeachment. He obviously refused to participate in the actual trial in front of the Senate, but he did come to make a closing statement uh, where he wasn't under oath and therefore said a whole series of things that ultimately... Uh, you know, were taken as, as incredible, as well as are potentially going to be used against him in his ultimate criminal trial. After he was ousted, he held that news conference outside his home, and he was hugging babies, shaking hands, smiling for the cameras. Do you think that he's delusional or in denial about what's happening to him, or do you think that was a calculated performance on his part? You know, it's really hard to say. Um, I think a lot of people have speculated, certainly you've heard what our mayor has had to say, um, that there's something the matter with the governor. Um, you know, it's, it's incomprehensible to me as a lawyer uh, how, why you would conduct yourself in the manner that he has. Uh, if you were really serious about being innocent and if you believe that you can prove that you are not guilty, then use the form that's presented to you. Work within the law. Instead, he chose to fly off to New York and be on every possible uh, TV talk show that was available to him uh, and really never directly answered the questions uh, that were posed to him, even on those talk shows, but obviously that were being dealt with by our state Senate. And so obviously it appears that there must be some sort of a problem. Uh, at a bare minimum, he seems quite comfortable in, you know, misrepresenting the truth. Do you think that was uh, the media blitz was an attempt to taint a, a jury in the upcoming criminal trial? Do you think it's possible to find an untainted jury at this point? Well, you know, they always manage to do so, uh, and so there are some people, you know, that probably are not paying a lot of attention to the news. So it may be a struggle, but they will manage to find, you know, an appropriate jury uh, who will look at the charges that are presented, look at the evidence, and make the right decision. Uh, but it is obviously, you know, questionable as to why the governor right. chose to go to New York as opposed to stay here in Illinois and confront these charges directly. Uh, we're out of time, but if you could just give me a yes or no, do you think this will end with the governor being convicted and going to jail? I do. All right. Illinois Attorney General Lisa Madigan, thank you for your time.